Hey guys, back in the basement again today to talk about this sample shaft I have in my hands. Why do I have a sample barbell shaft in my hands, you might be asking? Well, if you missed my video from a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned I was consulting with a company on a powerlifting bar. And in that video, we went over everything from the specs to the finish, to the neural type, to the location of the rings and the center neural and all that good stuff. And we got a lot of great feedback and we kind of left it at that. In those couple of weeks, I've been getting some questions and messages in regards to what's the status of this barbell? Is it coming out? Give me some info. Well, I was waiting for this little bad boy to come in. So I took all the feedback that we got, all the specs and the designs, sent them over to the company. They said, looks good. And I said, one of the things I really need is to feel that shaft. I need that neural in my hands because I can't tell you how many countless times I've bought a power bar only to open it to find the knurling isn't aggressive like it was advertised. And for me, knurling is super important once you get past the basic specs. The bar needs to feel good in your hands. Now, as a reminder, the knurling that we were really after is something that was aggressive, so cut deep into the shaft, yet grippy. So not mountains, but more volcanoes. And although a lot of people are like, hey, you should just go as sharp as possible, literally murder people with this barbell, that's not something that I would use as a daily driver. And that was my intent here, right? I've had a lot of bars over the years, do a lot of reviews on bars. And what I wanted to accomplish with this particular one, if I'm consulting, is basically take the things I like from all the barbells that I've owned and combine it into what I would consider the perfect powerlifting bar. So a daily driver for everybody. And to me, overly sharp knurling probably isn't ideal for a lot of people because if you have a bar that's gonna rip up your hands or your back, you're not going to want to use it as often. So this bar is gonna be built for powerlifting training purposes, yet really be aggressive and grippy enough that you could go for a one rep max on here and you're not gonna to have to worry about it coming out of your hands or coming off of your back. So that's where we stand right now. Again, I wanted to kind of feel it for myself and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Pixel peeping here, I'd like the actual volcano tops to be cleaned up just a little bit. You can tell they're not maybe as clean cut as I would like, which is a concern of mine going with anything imported from overseas, the consistency batch in and batch out. But the company that I'm dealing with, which I'll eventually talk about more once we know that we're going into production with this potentially, uh, from my standpoint of dealing with their other pieces of equipment, I have seen consistency in their lines. I haven't seen a lot of quality control issues, which I'm very excited about, because if I think they can really dial this in, I really honestly think a lot of you guys are gonna like this bar based off of the specs that we've come out. And I think again, it's gonna be unique enough where it, it kind of has its own place in the powerlifting barbells, which is a really flooded market these days, right? I didn't wanna just say, hey, this bar, I really like it, let's just copy that. Instead, I said, hey, look at all these bars I really like, let's take the best of each one and try to put that into a barbell that doesn't exist right now. So that's the update right now. I'm gonna send this insight from the neural back to the company. We're kind of probably gonna lock in some of the specs again and I'll share that on my Instagram probably before I make another video just because that's easier to do. Uh, but once we start moving forward in this process, which I think we probably will based off how this thing feels in my hands, I'll of course keep you guys involved and along for the ride. If you have any specific questions on this, let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. Woo!